In this video, we will go through the steps of creating an undulating roof structure. For this, we will use a law curve. We will start by creating the law curve. Let's start with a blank script. We will start by creating the law curve. The law curve will be used to calculate the radius of the undulating roof. We will define the law curve as a local user defined function. The law curve will have one parameter, the t parameter. We return the result. In this case, we are going to use a cosine curve as our law curve. We will also want to visualize our law curve. So let's create another function for generating a polyline along the law curve. This function will have four arguments. It will take in the domain of the law curve and a resolution parameter which determines the smoothness of the curve. We want to create a series of positions along the law curve. Let's say we want to create 100 positions, to get a nice smooth curve. Then we need to divide the domain by 100. That will be provided in the resolution argument and stepped through in the for each loop. We will remap the value of i to the desired x range. To do this, an inline expression is required. The y value will be the result from the law curve. The t parameter is remapped from the i value to the domain. The returned value from the cosine curve has a range from minus 1 to 1. The value is remapped to the desired y range. Next we will create the positions. And we will be adding the position that we create to the end of the list. Finally, we create a polyline through the list of positions. The function returns the created polyline. We can now visualize the curve by calling the function we just created. 
we will define the desired domain to be from 0 to 2 pi. A curve resolution of 100 positions. An X range of minus 50 to 50. And a Y range of 20 to 50. Here you can see the curve. Try changing the different parameters and visualize the results. See you in the next video.